Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Uh, okay, so I wanted to come on and share some new journals that I'm going to have in my Etsy shop. This will be a really quick kind of rough flip through of all of these. Um, I've got four like this and then this one's a little bit different. And actually I have another one <laughs> that's going to be in the shop too. So we'll go over that. Um, let me start with these four first. So what these are is um, hardcover uh, front and back covers um, that are actually old book covers that I have covered with uh, brown paper and then just done some kind of collaging of old book page, uh, print offs from digital kits, um, book pages. So this is from an Edith Holden um, book dictionary, you know, things like that, planner pages, and then I've added ephemera here and there to some of them. This is uh, from a book, and then the spines are fabric, um, but they're very sturdy, so uh, this is sorry silk on the outside, and then I've done a thicker fabric in there along with another sari silk on the inside, and so all of these are very similar to that, and then they are using uh, sorry silk as uh, the closure so that is basically the construction of all these so I will go ahead and start flipping through Move those off to the side so uh, the insides are gonna be one signature per uh, journal uh, and uh, I don't remember off the top of my head how many pages but I'll have that in the Etsy listing um, I originally had started these for spring so any um, kind of book page that has a poem on it. So I took some pages from Book of Poems. Uh, they're gonna be springtime. And then you'll also see a lot of florals and whatnot from the digital kits that I've chosen to use. So minimal decorating, but there is some decorating in there. Um, so like this, we've got a talk spot with a little um, handmade tag that's been sewn on. Uh, tea dyed papers. This came from a book about Edith Holden. So lots of things like this. So a little bit of decoration here out th throughout uh, the journal. Um, so this is another little bit of decoration. So a handmade envelope with a, uh, another bit of writing space in between and then lined with um, some brown paper there, packing paper. Uh, okay, so I need to go faster. <laughs> this is going to be a very long video. So as you can see, we've got the sari silk uh, holding everything together there. Um, another tuck spot. I'll go slower through this one, but basically these are all going to be very similar to each other um, with the same papers and sorts of uh, ephemera and decoration. So there's that. This page has this little journaling card. But as you can see though, lots and lots of room for writing and doing whatever you wanted to do to fill up uh, these journals with. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. So here's this one. Um, I left this sari silk just a little bit longer on the spine so it kind of hangs down a little bit. This one's a little bit more of a pink and blue with a monarch butterfly on the front. Some book pages on the front and back cover. Really like that. And then just some quilted paper there. Uh, and then on the inside we've got more of a peachy orange with some more butterflies. And let's just do a flip through here using some of that uh, sorry trim to, uh, you know, add some more decoration. This came from a book about flowers. So a really old book page here, a little flowery chair. So some of these may be a little bit more geared towards spring than others. If they are more geared towards spring, I'll have that in the product name so that um, it's clear which ones are and which ones aren't. This one I would say is not um, because uh, 
the stuff on this one is there's nothing specific to spring that I'm seeing here so other than the flowers obviously um, but yeah sorry about that my lighting is a little bit difficult for me right now um, so there is that journal absolutely love this one love the colors in that the third one here we've got green and orange and yellow on the spine with the pink uh, sari silk this came from a book music some more music and then on the inside a little bit more of an orange and green theme on this this is the actual book inside cover uh, this was already glued down there so I just kind of kept some of it um, and kind of worked with those colors for the rest of the journal <clears throat> Some really old music here. I said I was gonna go faster and I haven't, right? <laughs> um, so, as you can see, little pockets and tuck spots throughout. Um, minimally decorated, but really wanting it to be uh, something that you could take and build on and uh, use your own decorations uh, to finish it out. So that that's a little journaling card. Uh, tag there's the center of that one this came from a book this is a really cool sketch of a farm this is another journaling card here oh this one was kind of weird so <laughs> this, I had to join these two together and so there was this little bit of space here so I just used that as a little tuck spot for uh, this uh, journaling thing here actually maybe I should have put it in the other way but anyway that's how it's tucked in it's it's a little unorthodox but then so are junk journals <laughs> so but really cool flash card there some scrapbook paper another little tuck spot with some more journaling space and here you have some sari trim as a pocket with two little spaces for journaling and there you go so and then actually I had this I have found this Gucci purse at the Goodwill and I just love the tag someone had written that and so I was like that's cool so I just put that on the back there and now it's part of this journal <laughs> so there's that one and then this last one is more of a teacup teapot uh, theme with this uh, back here um, and then the insides a little bit more pinks and purples I suppose uh, journaling card here, a little sorry silk trim there, another little tuck spot. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! I'll have to put a different one in there. I'll I'll fix that. <laughs> I'll put I'll put a different one in there. Let me do this so that I don't forget. Um. But yeah, as you can see, lots of little fun surprises throughout. Um for more journaling spots for you to add to and discover. Here's a little handmade journaling card. Some antique ledger, digital kit, another tuck spot with some papers in it, some more of that music paper. And then, I mean, this is like a fold out kind of journaling spot there. From that book about Edith Holden again. Here you got some buttons up in the corner. So this one is about the thrush, which may or may not be about, yeah, it's not about spring. So nature. It's really only the first one so far. It's kind of spring-like. little tuck spot there with, um, I don't know if you can see that, uh, lighting is horrible, I am so sorry, <clears throat> there's a little bunny rabbit there, <laughs> it's really cute, um, and then another tuck spot here from some ephemera, again with the teapot, this is your plate now from your saucer I guess is what it would be, and then here's the back cover, so those are those, 
Now this one is similar, only I didn't obviously decorate the cover. This particular book I bought <clears throat> without a spine at all that was intact. So um, this one was gonna need to be rescued anyway. And so I did the same thing with this, with the Sari Silk um, fabric, or Sari Trim uh, fabric spine. This one has two signatures inside. Um, and so here's the inside. And so then I did put a thicker piece of fabric in the middle just to give it more sturdiness. Um, and again, this one's very similar to the others. Less decorated, I think. I, I, if I remember right, I don't think I decorated this one quite as heavily. Um, but using the same papers and whatnot as the other ones. Oh, okay, so we do have some teapots in here. Or the teapot. Theme, I suppose but that's just ephemera if you didn't want to keep that you could use that somewhere else or gift it away um, this is that from the music um, from the others oh and apparently I didn't <laughs> tie a little bow here so we'll do that uh, if you wanted to add some charms to this, you could. I'll do that later. <laughs> but there's that. Uh, and then, yeah, antique uh, music paper here. This is some vintage wrapping paper, probably for a wedding. So, just trying to use some different kinds of materials and things. There's a little bit of decoration on that page. Some pages from digital kits here that have been um, tea dyed. This is actually from a book. Okay, so there's the first signature and here's the second uh, from that same book about flowers. Another little tuck spot here. Oh my gosh, my glue is just <laughs> a little bit gluey. Um, again, from that same book about poems, but that's just a um, painting. I love these pages. I love these journals, to be honest with you. I wish I could keep all of them, but I, I just won't use them. Um, so, that is the sickness that <laughs> is junk journaling making. I love making them, but I can't, I can't use them all to, um, fast enough. <clears throat> so I sell them. All right. So there's that one. And that's that journal. Okay. Now the last journal is completely different. Um, I'll, uh, this will be in my Etsy shop as well. If you've been watching my channel, uh, the last year or so, you'll probably recognize this. <clears throat> this was a piece of, I, taken a um, paper sack from uh, grocery bags and turned it into well this journal <laughs> and then I decorated it um, so it's two it's double-sided and really thick and then I sewed around the perimeter of each um, page and then decorated it with uh, your creative studio two different uh, kits from your creative studio um, and so here let's just go ahead and Take a look. So we've got uh, this little front page has uh, this tucked in there. Uh, it's just some paper that's been tea dyed. Uh, it's got a bluish tint to it. And then the next page is uh, mostly decorated, but you could write there or add some photos or whatnot. And then um, this has three signatures, and I've added uh, tea dyed paper in each of them that are just blank so all the decoration is kind of like on these pages here so this is actually a big envelope this is not a tuck spot this is glued down um, but then I've created this journaling tag out of some of that ephemera from the your creative studio kit and then that's also a tuck spot and another created tag um, from just some papers and things and so then this whole thing turns, and now this is from a different Your Creative Studio kit that I just put them together, and I thought they worked real, really well. So this one um, is more of a sewing theme, 
So you'll kind of see that throughout um, these pages. You've got some thimbles and some more buttons down here. <clears throat> and then here's your second signature of papers. So again, same types of papers. And then here we have a little pocket with some uh, little things that you could write on. And then um, uh, this is a sticker up here. And you could write up here if you wanted to, too. You could write on the back of this. Do all kinds of different things. This is actually a pocket from for this page. Uh, so in that pocket, we've got another journaling card with that sewing theme. And uh, sewn a doily down here and turn that into a pocket. And behind there, you've got your sewing theme again with another really thin tag uh, with the sewing theme on the back side. And we're not done. We've got a third signature. So this is the more the latest one that I've just finished spread. Um, on this spread here, you've got uh, kind of the two themes mixed together. Uh, so again, with the floral and the blue, and then the pink here. Uh, and then I just added this uh, from just some scraps that I had and then created this uh, journaling spot. So this is all glued down and stapled. Uh, and then you could journal on here. And that just goes right up in there. It's a little fiddly, um, but it does, it works. Um, but it kind of becomes part of the page's decoration. And then again, here's your third signature of papers. Uh, with the same types of papers and then here's the other side so uh, we've got this decorated on this side of the page and then tucked into this tuck spot is this large journaling tag so you've it's got memo there and then um, this is just tucked in you could write there or add a photo or whatnot and then write about it with a little tab here on the right side and then all this space on the back to write on so that will also be available in my um, Etsy shop as well. So, yeah, I haven't really been around much lately. I apologize about that. Life has just been so crazy. Getting a puppy was a lot more than we both expected it to be. But thankfully, she's starting to kind of calm down. Um, in my in the next one of the next videos that I post, um, not this one, I'll put some pictures of her. Um, she's almost seven months old now so <laughs> she's growing up a lot um but uh yeah she's a super sweet girl um a golden retriever <laughs> she's really pretty uh so yeah so uh if you're kind of been wanting to get a new journal i've got a few options for you here um or you know if you just wanted to appreciate them i'd like i'd like i just like having you here so <laughs> thank you for joining me today and i will see you all in the next one bye